the Reynolds school shooting is uh, makes you ask the question that we're all asking, and the president is asking, when are we going to work to stop these shootings? This one, student on student, uh, but the details of the side and prayers to the family of the victim, Amelia Hoffman, but you get tired of seeing these images where students are walking down, you know, holding their arms up like this, and, and, and you know what goes on when you see that, right? Now, uh, and that's horrible. It's becoming so commonplace that we're getting used to it, and that's not the way. Guns need to be taken off the streets. And you're going to say, what about that fellow in Las Vegas that tried to thwart two, those two? Well, he got shot. Uh, he got killed, okay? They shouldn't have had guns. He shouldn't have had guns. We don't need to reduce ourselves to a an old West system. And you, when you think about policy and you express an opinion, you have to think about the long-term consequences of the ideas you're espousing. What I mean is that is that is this: Where will my ideas take society in terms of positive and negative outcomes and occurrences and scenarios? If you don't think about that, then you're not really taking responsibility for the impact your policy is going to have on the country. The NRA policy of a gun in every pocket is hurting us. We have had 74 school shootings in Sandy Hook. That comes down to one shooting every 7.35 days. When are we going to say enough is enough? When we get to the point where it's basically, because that's once a week, we're going to get to a point where it's basically twice a week, three times a week, four times a week, every day? What do you want? we got to stop this.